in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this nice crochet edging welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kalthar if this is your very first time here and i'm nigeria's crochet queen i share a lot of very helpful crochet tutorials on my channel because i want to help you make original crochet designs of your own if you'd love to learn how to use the crochet stitches i share on my channel for your own unique project check the description box down below where i put up a link to my blog post that teaches you all about how you can create your own crochet designs with the crochet stitches i share on my channel before we begin this tutorial please subscribe to my channel down below for lots of very helpful crochet content and even some more fun videos about my everyday life here in lagos nigeria you can also find the written pattern um, for this stitch for this edging you can find a written pattern for this edging on my blog as well again click the link in the description box below if you prefer to work with written patterns all that being said let's begin this tutorial for this lovely crochet edging it is reversible which means that it looks the same way on both sides and you can use it for your um, blouses for your skirt you can use it as a collar you can even um, put this on a fabric that is not crochet maybe you have a t-shirt or you know you have a regular fabric you can do something like this on the edge of that fabric to give it a very nice touch let's begin the tutorial now this stitch is done in a multiple of 13 plus 3 so I'm going to be um, chaining um, 30. So 13 multiplied by two is 26. Then when I add three to that, I have 29. Again, the stitch is a multiple of 13 plus three. So 29 is a multiple of 13, 26 plus three. Then I'm just adding one extra chain as a turning chain, which is why I am chaining 30 here. 7, 28, 29, 30. Okay, I have my 30 chains now. Again, 26 is a multiple of 13. And then when we add 3 to 26, we add, we have 29. And 1 is just, the last chain is just the turning chain, which is how I have ended up with 30 chains. And for row 1, we begin by doing a single crochet in the second chain from the hook then single crochet in each of the chains till you get to the end of the row. Okay, my row one is done. My row one is single crochet all through. And now let's begin row two. To begin row two, chain one and turn then do a single crochet in the first single crochet, chain five, skip three single crochets and do a single crochet in the next one, chain five again, skip three single crochets and do a single crochet in the next one, chain five again, Keep three single crochets and do a single crochet in the next one and continue like that continue like that till you get to the end of the row chain five skip three single crochets single crochet in the next i'm just doing my last single crochet in the last in the first single crochet from the previous row and this is what we have now we have just finished our row two this is what it looks like here. Now to begin row three, we chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and turn. In this first chain five space from the previous row, we do a single crochet. And in this next chain five space, we work nine double crochets. Nine. So 
So now we have this. In the next chain five space work is single crochet. Then we chain five. Single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain five again. Single crochet in the next chain five space. Now in the next chain five space, we work nine double crochets again. And, and in the last chain five space here, we work a single crochet. To finish up this row, we're going to be chaining two and then work a double crochet on top. Like work a double crochet in the single crochet that we did at the beginning of the previous row. So this is what the project looks like after row three. To begin row 4, chain 1 and turn, work a single crochet in this double crochet, then work a double crochet in the first double crochet of this, um, you know, the 9 double crochets we did in the previous row, work 1 double crochet in the first double crochet there, chain 1, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain 1, double crochet in the next double crochet chain one so continue that till you finish with the nine double crochets double crochet chain one in each of those nine double crochets from the previous row Now I've just done the last double crochet in the ninth double crochet as you can see this is the last double crochet here so what I'm going to do now is work a single crochet in this chain 5 space right here then I chain 5 single crochet in the next chain 5 space now we're going to go back to the double crochet chain 1 in each of these 9 double crochets so let's go into the first double crochet here and work our double crochet chain one double crochet in the next chain one double crochet in the next chain one so you finish with those nine double crochets I've just finished the last double crochet in that ninth double crochet and to finish this row I'm going to work a single crochet in the third chain of the chain 5 that we did at the beginning of the previous row. This is done and with that we've come to the end of row 4. We have just one row left to finish this edging right now. To begin the last row, chain 1 and turn, work a single crochet in the first single crochet. Now we're going to work five single crochets. So do a single crochet in the next double crochet, a single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in the next double crochet, single crochet in the chain one space, a 
and the single crochet in the next double crochet now we have six six single crochets here one two three four five six then we do a pico a pico is chain three then slip stitch at the base of this at the single crochet where you did the pico in slip stitch there and work a single crochet in the next chain one space a single crochet in the next double crochet single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the double crochet now we have four four single crochets and we're going to do another pico in the same way so chain three do a slip stitch in the single crochet where you chain three from so another pico is done now we're going to work a single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the next double crochet single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the next double crochet we have four single crochets done again and we're going to do another pico now one two three slip stitch in the single crochet at the base there we do a single crochet in this chain one space single crochet in the double crochet single crochet in the chain one space and then single crochet in the double crochet so this is the first like we're done with the first um part of the, with the first motif now to continue on here into this chain five space begin by working a single crochet in the chain five space then we do a pico now work three more single crochets in the chain five space one two three go again slip stitch there to finish your pico now finish up in this chain five space with one last single crochet so that we have this now now we're going to come to this motif and do the same exact thing we did here we're going to begin with a single crochet in the first double crochet here single crochet there we're working five single crochets in total three four and five okay now we do the pico we do the pico now single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the next double crochet single crochet in the next chain one space single crochet in the next double crochet we should have four single crochets after the pico then we do another pico one two three slip stitch in there now we do another four single crochets starting from the chain one space single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the chain one space single crochet in the next double crochet we have four single crochets now and we do another pico then single crochet in the chain one space single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the chain one space single crochet here now we have four single crochets now but we're going to be ending the row here by doing in one last single crochet in this first single crochet that we did at the beginning of the previous row and with that we have come to the end of this lovely edging pattern i think it's very nice and it's also really easy i just like when easy stitches sort of look complicated like if you put this on the edge of anything you like take your crochet piece from 100 to 500 you know it looks so lovely you can use it for blouses skirts you know anything that you just want to have um you just want to add that nice touch to it 
can also just use it sort of like a color you know under your bralette you know just make two bra cups and crochet this under your bra cups to get a very nice bralette you know there are so many things you can do with this edging and i hope that you found this tutorial helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel down below for more crochet tutorials and more fun content leave me your comments if you have any questions down below and i'll see you in my very next tutorial bye